commercial building has been destroyed in Langley following a three alarm fire. We join Greg Harper live in Langley with the latest. Greg. Good morning, Jody. Uh, we're just off the Langley Bypass. Uh, behind me here is a, a commercial building that caught fire last night. What's happening right now, uh, Langley firefighters still on the scene and they're putting out hot spots. They've been spraying water from up above. Uh, right now they're taking a bit of a break, but the, they've been spraying water continuously here this morning. This was a huge fire that started around 10 o'clock last night. A huge challenge for firefighters on the scene. There are a number of tanks inside the building uh, full of uh, acetylene. This is used to uh, fuel torches. They began to explode, which only fueled the blaze. Now, the roof on the building eventually collapsed, and there were firefighters attacking the flames from up above and also at the ground level. It was escalated to a three alarm fire, and uh, we've been here ever since. We've uh, managed to stop the fire on the first two thirds of the building in that. And uh, now we're just putting out hot spots and we'll still be here for quite some time. Now, this building was home to a, a number of businesses, an outdoor a vehicle retailer, a body shop as well, a, a tile shop. Uh, looks, looks as though they have been uh, destroyed. No one was injured here. Uh, that's the good news. What caused this fire? Uh, that'll be under investigation. Jody? All right, thanks so much. Craig Harper reporting live from Langley this morning. A popular summer landmark in White Rock is in ruins today. Tuesday's early morning fire destroyed the Marine Drive gelato shop. The three alarm blaze appears to have started in the attic. The flames led to an evacuation of nearby condos. So far, it doesn't look like they sustained any serious damage. Seven uh, or so, the alarm went off. I got up and looked around the suite to make sure we weren't on fire, uh, but I wasn't too concerned at that point because we're scheduled for a fire alarm test. Uh, I, I thought maybe it was a screw up or something. Then uh, I looked out the uh, patio door from my suite, which is immediately adjacent to the building that was on fire and saw flames. So that was pretty exciting. That man says he smelled smoke earlier in the morning, but didn't think much of it because fires are commonly set on the beach. A man is in serious condition in hospital after being shot in Surrey last night. RCMP were called to 126 A Street and 78th Avenue at around 7 p.m. Several shots were fired from one vehicle into another. A third vehicle appeared and drove the man to hospital. Officers say the victim is known to police and they believe the shooting was targeted. No suspects have been arrested. Vancouver police are looking to find this man, a high-risk sex offender. Darren Wheatley is wanted Canada-wide for breaking his release conditions. Wheatley was given a 10-year sentence for three attacks on women in Ontario. He is described as Aboriginal, 45 years old, 6 feet, with a large build and tattoos on his arm. Meanwhile, a German tourist has been arrested for a sexual assault on the Canada line. A 44-year-old man is accused of groping a woman after she boarded at Yale Town on Monday. The woman yelled at the man, then forced him off the train at the Vancouver City Centre station where she reported the incident. The suspect was arrested within minutes. He has a history of sex offences in Germany. He's here on a tourist visa. He has been charged with one count of sexual assault. He made his appearance in court and the judge decided that he is releasable on a $5,000 cash bond but that bond has not yet been posted. No one has been heard following a construction incident at the new Trump Tower in downtown Vancouver. This is what Georgia Street looked like after a huge pane of glass fell from the 59th floor of the skyscraper. It smashed into the street below. The crash was very loud, could be heard several blo blocks away. Georgia Street was closed in both directions while crews cleaned up the broken glass. It is still not known exactly how this happened, but miraculously, no one was injured. WorkSafe BC is investigating. We have an, uh, a standard investigation for any major incidences that happen, so that's currently underway right now. Maybe the kids have never seen one of these before. The old style Walkman is being blamed for a major C bus shutdown. The music player was found under a seat on the Burrard Beaver at around 5 yesterday afternoon. The vessel and terminal at Lonsdale Quay were evacuated during the afternoon rush. Passengers boarded shuttle buses running between downtown and the North Shore. After sweeping the area, police found nothing of any concern and it was determined the Walkman wasn't a threat. 
Service resumed at 8.45 last night. An unexpected success has given a Vancouver woman a new lease on life and other can cancer patients hope for the future. After five years of failed treatments and setbacks, Trish Keating's colorectal, colorectal cancer is in remission. With tumors in her spine and lymph nodes, her diagnosis was terminal, but last fall, Keating took part in a patient-specific trial at the BC Cancer Agency. Trish was given a blood pressure pill not intended for cancer treatment, but it worked, making her cancer barely detectable in just weeks. The fact that it's not chemotherapy is incredulous. The fact that um, I feel so great is incredulous because for so many months and the past year, I haven't felt great at all. The BC Cancer Agency Genome Sequencing Program compares a patient's tumors with healthy genes. The process helps doctors form a treatment plan based on that person's individual needs.